to enable DDE server in MetaTrader 4 so you can communicate with Excel and you can stream the data into Microsoft Excel. So you will need a working copy, it needs to have a license. Um, the new Excel, I think, uh, it might might work for old Excel versions, but I'm just using the new version, um, the 365 version. Uh, obviously you need MetaTrader 4. And so it's dead simple, uh, tools, options, and then enable DDE server. Have that checked. Uh, it won't be checked by default, so you need to click it, click OK, and then you need to locate the the folder. And it, within the terminal folder, you've got a DDE sample, which will appear because you've just checked that box. Okay, you just checked that box, and then that for that will appear in that location. Uh, so simple. Double click, uh, update. And then that's that. So we can do things where we can have um, uh, well distance from high, distance from low, you know stuff like this. Oops. Um, you can get the range, and then you can do some cool calculations and, and things like that. So um, you can make charts, and I'll show you what you can do. Uh, go to file. Um, there you go. Uh, update. It always asks you to do that, so don't worry about that. Just click update. Uh, so for the yen pairs currently, um, we can you know we don't have to look at yen. We can look at gold. We can look at euro. Anything. Um, you just simply select what you want to look at by changing that. Um, I don't know. Right, so therefore we're looking at Aussie Kiwi and then as long as you change that you know just make sure you you know you change that so you know what you've done uh, you know uh, so we don't you know, just, just so if you wanted to change the values it's so simple but just ensure you changed it for the you know for the row um, go back go back um, so yeah, what you can do, you can get distance from low, distance from high, and then you can get the range. The range is uh, simply, um, you know, the C18. So the, the basically it's a calculation from the distance from the low from the distance high. So it's dead simple, and that gives you the, the you know, the daily range, and you can see what's range in. What's uh, you know most volatile? If something's got a, high, a huge range, it's going to be more volatile, isn't it? So, um, grab that down, and then we just change that to Swiss, and then um, you can do something like this, where you know you get metrics, distance from high, this from low, the range, and then you get um, you know you get graphics like this. So. Um, it's quite simple. Excel gives you loads of different ways to format. I have a black, uh, black background. You don't have to have a black background. And you see you can have the table there. So currently we're seeing a yen strength because, um, you know, there's the red uh, area is greater than the green. And we can see what's actually leading is the dollar yen. So this is my theory, what I was saying earlier, that this is dragging on everything. All right, and because this is fallen, it's causing these to fall as well. All right, and obviously this leads into the ten-year yield. If that spikes, um, then you know they were going to be a little bit risk off. Um, and this is sensitive to the ten-year. Uh, so obviously, if we're going to go risk off in the states, it's going to be uh, it's going to impact the whole world. So this is why we need to look at UJ. And this falling could indicate these to fall as well and a little bit of yen strength, I think. Um, so yeah, we can see that um, pound is strongest, right? Because that green area is larger. So um, I don't know, maybe it was useful. I don't know if I need to describe this bit. I mean, maybe it's quite simple, quite straightforward. You know, you just get the distance from low, so you look in from the bid, uh, minus the low, distance from high is the bid from the high. The range is simply those values there. So um, hopefully it's useful. I don't know if you guys knew about the DDE server, but it's dead simple. Tools, options, uh, enable, locate the file, 
double click, and then you've got the data which you can mess around with. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good. You can don't have to do yen. You can do anything. So um, you know you can look at euro, pound, any currency, any commodity. If you even want to look at stocks, individual stocks, because IC Markets has the individual stocks. So if you want to look at Tesla versus I don't know. Um, a, a Chinese battery manufacturer or something, you know, you can just look at the difference between the two companies and then you can get uh, nice graphics from those two companies and you can see, can't you? Um, but I think my theory could be correct, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So uh, any feedback is good. If you want to use the IC Markets link, you're more than welcome to. Uh, it's absolutely amazing and obviously uh, I'll get a little bit of commission if you use the link. And you'd be winning as well because this is a superior broker to what you're using as well um, for many, many reasons. So uh, wrap up the video now. Um, have a good weekend. Maybe you guys can have a little play around with this. Let me know if you get any cool graphics uh, and then we can maybe uh, collaborate. And maybe you give me some ideas or something like that. And um, I'll speak to you soon and have a good weekend.